I wonder if anything interesting has happened today. Intro. Intro. Student went missing today regarding his whereabouts. Or flies off his handle going catty corner into the wall. Catty corner. Golly washer and slicker than snot out there. Slicker than snot? He's returning with... Wampus for most of the game. Caddy Wampus. The Indians eyeball. Okay, that's it. I can't understand a word these people are saying. Computer, initiate translation matrix. All started floating. I reckon these guys were more nervous than a long-tailed cat in a room of rocking chairs. All right. From the beginning, then. This is Stomp69 with your evening report. Good evening, our first story tonight. An LSUS student went missing today. Mr. Josh Parnell was last seen drinking sweet nectar on his porch. He's about yay tall with, with black hair. Any information regarding his whereabouts has a six pack waiting for him at the police station. An accident on the access ramp I-49 and I-20 leads to a pileup and an 18-wheeler flies off its handle going catty corner into the wall and causing bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic from miles back. We have bad news after the last presidential debate, one of them is going to win. And a man must retract his own report of his stolen car after his car miraculously ends up back in his driveway. The man says whoever left, uh, left his car there left money in the windshield wipers for gas. Good on him. Here's Pam with the weather. Hi, this is Pam with your weekly weather forecast. And as we all know, down here in the South, Mother Nature can never make up her mind. Monday is going to be a cold one, 70 degrees. Tuesday, rain in the forecast. It's going to be a gully washer and slicker than snot out there. The heat is returning with a vengeance on Wednesday and Thursday and is forecasted to be hotter than a Walmart parking lot in August. Friday, we will see a return of the rain. Saturday and Sunday brings a chance of thunderstorms with more twisters than you can shake a stick at. This was your weekly forecast. Thank you, Pam. Great weather. In other news, Chicago headed to Cleveland's stomping grounds for Game 7 of the World Series. Cleveland started off like a herd of turtles as they let the Cubs take a 3-0 lead in the top of the third. The score continued cattywampus for most of the game as the Indians' eyeballs started floating. I reckon these guys were more nervous than a long-tailed cat in a room of rocking chairs. However, Joe Madden decided to make a run with the big dogs as he played Chapman for the third time in three games. And after he was rode hard and put up wet, the Indians had tied it up to take in the extra innings. However, Cleveland would be given the short end of the stick in this game as the Cubs would score two more runs in the top of the 10th, granting themselves their first World Series win in 108 years. And if you understood a word I just said, you might be ready. Right Hi, this is Pam with your week. Hey. Hi, this is Pam with your wag. <laughs> okay. I'm here in the South. Mother Nature can never make up her mind. Monday's gonna be a cold one, 70 degrees. Monday's gonna be a cold one, 70 degrees. Can you? If I mess up and repeat it, can you cut that out? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Okay, starting again. Hi. Hi, this is Pam with your weekly weather report. Mother Nature can never make up her mind. Um, sorry. That was a All started floating. I reckon these guys were more nervous than a cat than a long-tailed cat. <laughs> the Indians had uh, tied. Starting from however. Hi, this is Pam with your weekly forecast. Walmart parking lot in August, sorry. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm going to start back from rain. No, I'm just going to start over. <laughs>